Okay, here's how you undervolt an RTX 5090. First up, open up MSI Afterburner, then open up Curve Editor. Come to the Curve Editor, find 900 on the bottom row, trace it up to its point. Hold Shift, left click, drag up until you get to 2730. All right, now come to the right of the point. Hold Shift, left click, drag to the right. Okay, and then let go. And only hold left click on any of these points above. Drag it down all the way to the bottom. Click Apply. Double click anywhere inside to get rid of the selection. And now that's uh, been undervolted. Now, the reason why I chose this value is because it's a pretty conservative value, but you can go ahead and add up to 2,800 or even above at 900 millivolts. And uh, you could tweak both of these values in increments of plus or minus 10 to 25 to find your sweet spot. And that's pretty much it. That's all you're going to have to do. And you could even add a 2,000 uh, megahertz overclock on the memory. If this doesn't work, you could tone it down to 1500, but you're going to have to find the right voltage for these things to be stable. And if you want a full tutorial on this, there is a video on my channel that can help you out if you're new to all of this stuff. Um, we go through MS Afterburner from scratch and there are benchmarks as well. So hopefully this works for you.